Today is the second Sunday of Advent. What does Advent mean? Advent is a time four Sundays before the Christmas celebration in which we celebrate the birth, the incarnation of the Christ. Every one of us have probably gone through the experience of that birth of Christ within ourselves. What Saint Germain tries to encourage us to see that there is a second coming of that Christ within each of us. When we get to that point in our own mastery that we are that Christ. That is the second coming. That is the reality of this moment in your life and my life. He has a very deep concern about how some of us, or all of us, should actually be that Christ. Today we want to talk about what his deepest concern is in terms of the, the problem of drugs and why it is such a problem that we have to deal with. This comes from a teaching which we can only give only half of a, even then it's going to take all we have to cover it. That is recorded in volume 27, number 32 of the Pearls of Wisdom. It's a study of Christhood. When we become the Christ, we shall have the same powers as Jesus the Christ. And it's a point of understanding within ourselves as we reach that point of mastery, that Christhood, that we should understand how we approach life. He says, Beloved of my heart, keepers of the flame in every city of the earth, I address you as my own and as the vessel of my flame of freedom. Now one of the secrets of becoming that Christ is becoming the very essence of the master under which we serve. Now we are working under several masters. Beloved El Moria, Beloved Saint Germain, beloved Jesus, and therefore the, the point is we become that master. When we love it, that master uh, to that depth that our thoughts are that master's thoughts, our feelings are that master's feelings, that we react as the master at reacts to life. In other words, we move away from our individualized personality that we see or have seen and move into that devotional aspect where we actually become that master. And so we become the vessel of his flame of freedom we become that master and we need to begin to see ourselves in that situation in that um, in that reality he said keepers of the flame alpha and omega have sent forth the call to us hierarchs of the aquarian age and we have sent forth the call to the receptive heart of our own messenger and chilas. So 
Well, that's a second question we should ask ourselves. Are we, or do we have, a receptive heart to St. Germain? Are we concerned with St. Germain's concerns? Do we feel within ourselves that tremendous reality that's happening not only upon planet Earth, but uh, upon uh, planets all around. He said, O oh, receptive hearts, vessels now held high, bearers of the light and of the receptacle of peace, I am come. I am your night commander. I am the sponsor of America and the entire hemisphere. I am the sponsor of Earth, and we together shall face this dark and foreboding plot against the souls of light and the entire human race. Beloved ones, the story of these drugs, of marijuana, cocaine, heroin, and all the rest of the synthetic fabricated drugs is an ancient one. I pinpoint, therefore, the conspiracy of fallen angels known as the Nephilim gods and as the Watchers. Now, that's one thing to say and talk about the Nephilim gods and the Watchers but for many people, that's just a figment of somebody's imagination. At least it's not real to us. Until that is, you get a letter from the Watchers. And in that letter, they point out every place you've ever lived, your children's names, uh, everything about you is in that letter. And that letter says, we are watching you, Carl Showalter. Suddenly, the Watchers becomes a reality. And I would not wish that letter upon you, but I want you to know that what St. Germain is saying here is very, very real. He said, I pinpoint their conspiracy to control the populations of the worlds. That's capital. I mean, that, that's an S. Worlds. Where they have spawned their experimental creation, their mechanization man. And therefore, in order to control their laboratory experiment, they have used all manner of devices. Now, therefore, other nefarious powers moving against the evolution of life everywhere have seen fit to use mechanization man, computerized man, plastic man, if you will, as trendsetters, jet setters, climbing out to the gods and the fallen angels to attempt to taunt and to hypnotize the seed of Sana Kumara, the seed of Christ in embodiment. Plastic man. Have, have you ever had a feeling that some of the, the advertising that you see, uh, these people are not real. You, you look at them and they, they just look like... Um, uh, a, a picture. They're, they're nothing. You look into their eyes, there's nothing there. The plastic generation. He said their end is manifold, but it centers on the desire to steal the light of the threefold flame, to draw the light bearers down into the valleys of the pit itself where they would engage in the practices of darkness. And therefore, there are available fallen, there are available fallen angels in embodiment to demonstrate the way, to provide the drugs, to direct the proceedings, 
and to draw mechanization man into the entire conspiracy. Look at what's on the news. You can't help but believe that some of these people who are so much in the center of the news, it's just plastic men. Men who do not seem to have the same values in life, nor do they have any sense of spirituality at all. They're only here to destroy with hatred and mild dislike. He said, thus those who are the glamorous and those who form the multitudes of the mass consciousness exert a momentum that is planetary in scope to magnetize the light bearers into their practices of drugs and rock and nefarious deeds and therefore karmically ally and align these slight bearers with the darkest forces of the pits of hell to draw these into the alliances sexual in nature that result in the bringing forth of life life that is of darkness and of the pit which combining with the seed of christ now gains a transfusion of light thus by the serpent philosophy of the egalitarian way of all equality among evolutions. That means everybody is totally equal. There is no difference at all. Everybody is totally equal. You find that the light bearers have no sense of their own worth or mission or of their God determination at inner levels to lead all people out of the control of the fallen angels. Therefore they are lured into these alliances at all levels of crime and entanglements and the seed of light is diluted, it is overcome, it is betrayed and we will discover as we see in my transmission to you this day of the necessary knowledge that this does result in the watering down of the total planetary Christ consciousness and the betrayal one by one of the light bearers who ought to and must take their stand in life in this very century so that the true foundations of the age of Aquarius can be laid. The dimensions and the complexity of this problem and the extent to which it has been spawned on earth have been noted well by that which has been presented to you. I desire therefore that you should realize that the forces involved in this particular conspiracy are as great as those involved in the fomenting of war, the international capitalist communist conspiracy and the subjug subjugation of all evolutions of earth. The enemies of all people, these enemies of all people, light bearers of every evolution are deadly and among the most deadly of all at inner levels on the astral plane. I, Saint Germain, tell you I tell you this with all seriousness so that you may understand that we would not ask you to take your stand and give your invocations on this situation without providing you yourselves personally each one with cosmic reinforcements legions of light legions of Archangel Michael angels that form the retinue of the great teams of conquerors and the, and the legions of Sirius. Remember the great blue eagle from Sirius, those great angels, as well as those angels of Almighty God, which beloved Jesus himself did call forth on Easter Sunday. Recognize that we have brought into position around you and your loved ones the reinforcements of light so that you may feel safe and secure in taking your stand in this sanctuary of the Holy Grail and elsewhere on the planet 
at your altars and focuses to daily challenge this drug conspiracy and the conspiracy of death and hell itself. For that, in fact, is what it is, beloved hearts of light. It is no coincidence that I come in this hour of the three o'clock line today and that I come after the beginning of the dark cycle in Aries so that you will understand that the original conspiracy against the light bearers and the various evolutions and creations that began long, long ago with the fall of the fallen ones did begin and have its origin in a chemical manipulation, a genetic manipulation, and did come about not only through this vein of addiction and supplying of the people with all manner of stimulants, but with other modes of conspiracy, thereby to limit the extent of the people to rise, to take dominion, to make contact with the octaves of light, or to in any way challenge the fallen angels. Since their fall, it has been the goal of the fallen angels to keep in subjugation all evolutions and the planetary bodies that they have invaded and to prevent them from rising to any form of equality. To contact the power of God to learn the secrets of the Great White Brotherhood, which they themselves have perverted from the beginning in their arts of black magic, war and witchcraft, necromancy and sorcery. Necromancy is talking with the dead. Sorcery is using the power of evil to make things happen. So one of the... So... No. Beloved ones of the light, you can therefore understand why those in positions of power in this nation, and every nation, take such exception to the rise of the children of the light or to the true teachings of the I Am Presence. You can understand that these false hierarchies of fallen ones are positioned everywhere. Look at the political situation right now. You just can't stand a man being in the president's office that has any idea of the master's teaching. You can't stand what's happening in Mississippi right now, or Alabama, when a man who is very Christ-centered is being elected to the Senate. We have to keep that from happening. Any person who is telling the colleges they want to get into as a student that they are a Christian now is liable to be turned down because they are Christian, because it's a threat. We see this all over the world. It's becoming openly, uh, exam uh, examples are being openly uh, shown if we are sensitive enough to see it and get behind the reasons. He said, and therefore when you are, when you have the pronouncement of the word of God and a religion such as I have released through this messenger that will spell the end to death and hell and the binding of mortality, whose goal is the raising up of the true sons of God and the liberation of the soul you can well understand when this freedom is proclaimed and practiced and in fact already achieved by many of our chilas, some who have ascended, some who are ascending, others holding a very strong focus of freedom in the earth, that therefore the mouthpiece and the organization should be brought into disrepute by those who are determined to keep con under control not only the masses of mankind and the race they have spawned that has been named Homo sapiens, but also the light bearers and especially those who have the path of the ascension before them. And because they are the Christ in the earth, 
notice that. You and I are the Christ in the earth. Do you relate with that? And because they are the Christ in the earth, as this messenger is, and as there are other sons of light among you and daughters of God moving toward the full manifestation of Christhood, beloved ones, they, the fallen, one, fallen angels, would move to prevent that ascent and that clearing of the way. For those who do have the extraordinary manifestation of that Christ consciousness have also the power which Jesus had to convey that light and to intensify, magnify, and truly transmit the momentum of the threefold flame lost or waning. Take this personally. Begin to see yourself as that Christ. Begin to see yourself with this kind of power. Begin to work with it. Practice it. Practice it. Practice it. Somebody's sick, fix it. If the government is not doing what you need, do something about it. Demand it happen. Begin to open that door of understanding within yourself of who you really are. This is so important in this hour. He said, thus, beloved ones, the key that comes by the anointed ones, and you should all accept your role as anointed ones and Christed ones merging with your Christ self. St. Germain said that. It's not just me saying that. St. Germain said that. This is the key which shall undo this conspiracy which is interplanetary in nature and which has been put upon the people of this planet for millions of years. Please understand the equation in which we draw the line that separates light and darkness. It is a line between the absolute Godhead dwelling in you and absolute evil pitted against it in the form of these fallen ones. I give this introduction to my message this day so that you will understand that unless you perceive this equation, unless you understand, and I'll picture this, and unless those who desire to overturn the drug industry worldwide perceive this equation and have the protection of the brotherhood, there will no change come about. For this has been going on for thousands of years, and it is not a phenomenon of the 20th century <coughs> or of the 1980s, and this is when this was given, but one that is brought to the fore once again to entrance those who are easily taken in, for they have used these drugs in previous centuries long ago in the midst of Atlantis, on the continent of Africa, in, the, in South America, and ancient Lemuria. <clears throat> Beloved hearts of light, when you consider the age-old conspiracy, and you consider the fact that you are here, that I am here, and we are together forming the solar ring of light by our very bodies and presence, ascended and unascended, you can understand that this truly is the stand of Almighty God for the victory of the earth. And unless you perceive it so, unless you have pers perspective and that vision, you will not comprehend or understand the attacks upon your life, your loved ones, those associated with you, and you will not be serious enough to do your daily invocations to Michael the Archangel for your protection when you are engaged in this warfare. Believe me, 
when you get a letter from the watchers, this becomes reality. We can hear it, and we can get used to hearing it, and we can see what's happening all around us, and we get real busy with our lives. But when you receive the letter, then suddenly this becomes reality. And this is what St. Germain is trying his best to get us to see. He said, Thus I, St. Germain, must admonish you and warn you against that you who are a part of me and I a part of you as watchmen of the, in this night of the astral plane and darkness erupting into the physical plane therefrom must truly conduct your lives as holy ones of God, instruments of the seraphim who stand with you. And you must take care and realize that you have a thousand percent protection of the great white brotherhood when you yourself sustain your God tie to us when you maintain your harmony and keep your daily vigil with the ascended masters let me repeat what I started this is a time we celebrate Christmas not only the first coming into our hearts, but the second coming into the world through us, that Christ of Almighty God. This is the life we are at the moment. He said, you can sometimes <coughs> see you can be a sometimes decreer or a Johnny come lately or those who dip into the fires of Camelot once or twice a year and wage warfare with the sinister force and therefore I do not encourage you to back away but to jump into the flame wholeheartedly and fully and realize, beloved hearts, that the die is already cast and that your very acquaintance with this activity should underscore for you the necessity of your karma as well as your soul's edification to take the full cup of Christ Jesus who said, Indeed, you shall drink of my cup. That was from the scripture of the morning, if you remember. Here were two of the disciples, brothers, who decided that they would like to sit side by side with him when he really comes into his kingdom. Big shots. And Jesus said, well, are you able to live the life I'm living? And they said, we certainly are. And Jesus said, well, you will live this life. You will go through what I'm going through. You will be sacrifice you will be tested you will be that but I he said it's not I to give you that place beside me as you begin to see how natural this is for people we want the best chairs but are we willing to pay the price that Jesus paid are we willing to stand with Saint Germain in this hour when it could cost us mightily. Look what's happening around. People lose their businesses. They are shut down from expressions in college. All kinds of things are happening. But we never related to really what's happening, do we? He said, understand that the full cup of the path of the Bodhisattva was drunk by Jesus before you. I myself drank it fully many times and did those of our bands ascended. Therefore we admonish you to realize that when you come to a station of the cross, or in this case to a line on the cosmic clock of one of the in initiations of the path of the Bodhisattva, 
and it is tough and it is difficult and it is demanding realize that you are scaling a wall of light and you are scaling a wall of darkness and you are the f <clears throat> and you are there facing and encountering that initiation which must be passed before you is the light behind you is the enemy and therefore you must keep moving toward the source we are with you all the way home but we are not able to win your victory for you. This you must do by following the very explicit instructions in the science of the spoken word and in the protection of your life. We are there to assist you. We understand when you fall and stumble. You may make a mistake you may perchance become discordant or misqualify energy, but you have the perpetual call of the hour. You have Jesus' watch. You may instantaneously call upon the law of forgiveness, cast the entire matter, matter into the flame, invoke your tube of light and re-invoke it and re-establish in profound love and gratitude you're tied to me and to the All-Father. I reiterate, therefore, this entire matter of the basic and fundamental principles of the law, which are the first teachings of the Keepers of the Flame lessons, that you might understand the seriousness in which we are engaged and the deadliness of those forces that will not give up will not say die, and will surely be a part of those who are cast into the lake of sacred fire to be consumed. You are dealing with the ultimate forces of death and hell. You are dealing with the lieutenants and the representatives of the fallen ones who have already been bound and judged and taken. You are dealing with interplanetary and intergalactic conspiracies. I tell you, it is so. Those who have come to this planet to use it as an experimental station for all manner of creations and manipulation thereof have in some cases actually come from galaxies beyond this one. Thus we are at a crossroads beloved hearts and the great law has turned and the cycles have turned and the universe has opened and Sana Kamau and the entire hierarchy of light stand with the sons of God in embodiment on earth and when you make the call and you are consistent your call then counts for the binding of this force wherever it appears in the matter cosmos I tell you, it is so. And I ask you to cast into the sacred fire all doubt and fear and records of death and even the projections of the fallen ones in this very moment who would tell you that it cannot be so, that so vast an endeavor should surely come to pass and require the victory of your own sacred heart. Well, I tell you, beloved hearts, it is so. And if you will understand that there is no time and space, and that all these things can be compressed into a very narrow band of the physical octave, when I tell you that you have all lived for hundreds of thousands of years and experienced and observed this scene in this scenario, then being caught in it yourself, you must realize that it is true and that I speak the truth. And it is for no ordinary purpose that you are called together in this hour. 
and that you ought to cherish it as no other opportunity you've ever had in cosmic history. For this opportunity is not only the opportunity to banish from these worlds every threat to the light bearers and to all evolutions who may seek and find union with God, but it is also the means to your own victory and the glorification of God within you and your return to the heart. This very endeavor of challenging drugs falls on the lines of initiation of the Bodhisattva. Those who would become one in the heart of the Buddha and the Mother must understand that these initiations must be taken as they are given. Therefore you understand, beloved ones, the nature of the return of the dark cycle in Aries. The return of that karma, beloved ones, involves every conspiracy of the Luciferian ones against this earth and all others. You can understand that Aries is the line of God identity, <clears throat> the point of affirmation. I am that I am, which each and every one of you ought to make in this very moment to quiver the ethers with your God realization. So let's do it with all the heart and mind of our beings. Let us say together, I am that I am, together. I am that I am, louder. I am that I am, louder. I am that I am. <clears throat> Therefore understand the nature of the conspiracy and analyze it with the astuteness and ingenuity of your own Christ mind, for you are indeed capable you have been well taught by the masters and the messengers and your own Christ self. Therefore see what on this planetary body is moving against the full identity dwelling bodily in the sons of God. What moves against the awareness and the recognition of the soul of, of the fullness of the light and the Spirit of the Almighty One. Make your lists and begin your decrees, beloved ones, for by the specific decrees concerning this subject, you will draw from your causal body into physical manifestation truly the light which shall hold the balance in this dark cycle. We are moving toward that moment and we desire to see it come to pass, yet it is not yet so. For the wise ones must bring into the physical dimension the content of their causal bodies, bringing to bear upon the very challenges of the moment and the hour that light. Thus, when you attain to that degree, we trust Helios and Vesta guarding the, the sanctity of this gate of the three o'clock line to the new Jerusalem may bring forth his announcement on the subject of holding of the balance. Therefore, from this hour to the moment of his speaking, let us work together, let us be together, let us be the grail, let us be in this sanctuary and let us understand the true vigil of the hours which is required. Beloved hearts, these fallen ones must be bound hourly and there must be directed into the very dweller on the threshold behind them the most intense calls and the fiery furnace of the Almighty One. Recognize that the revenge and the lashback 
and the beha the, the behemoths of these demons, these false hierarchies, and those who occupy positions of power in the world will be something that perhaps some of you will be surprised to see, and others of you will consider that you have never been before seen such opposition to your life stream. Beloved ones, it is important that you realize that the planetary drug conspiracy will oppose everyone and every move made against it. Realize that this opposition comes subtly in other ways related to your call and your stand, in ways to remove you away from the center of light and to the necessary countenance of invocations once they are made. Beloved ones, if you can imagine an army on the battlefield, do you see it? The battle cry is given, and the sound to fire is heard resounding from the general, all engaging in a warfare. And suddenly, after an hour, each one considers other things that must take place in his attention, going to his farm or home or leaving the battlefield. Understand that the opposing army will only chase and pursue those who retreat and overcome them. Realize then the principle that I wish to illustrate, and that is once you have placed yourself in the army of light, there is no retreat. For to retreat is to admit defeat and is to invite the overcoming of the enemy itself. Therefore, I ask that each and every one of you admonish each and every other one that you serve as a reminder in the full power of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, and the reminder of all these teachings which we have given. For the testing of the hours is upon you. And when you have fulfilled and been able to meet the testing of the dark cycle in Aries, you will have the momentum of overcoming on the entire twelve lines of the clock, beloved hearts, that dweller on the threshold of your own subconscious that fully and finally may be dismissed and bound by you by the power of Almighty God in this life. I promise you, beloved hearts of light, as I stand in this hour, and as Portia stands with me, that if you will stand steadfast and meet this oncoming darkness and overcome and not be deterred and not stray and not leave the center of light and not leave the Holy Grail or the purposes to which you have uh, set your heart in the service of this community, I will therefore stand with you in the full overcoming of your own dweller. And I will also stand with you during this period of meeting the challenge of drugs in America and the world. And therefore, I offer my reward, my service, and my protection. And I allow you to see that which it is from the very beginning unto the ending for beloved hearts, truly this drug conspiracy of marijuana and cocaine, of alcohol and nicotine, sugar itself, upon the youth of the world is killing many a fine heart and soul, setting them back decades or lifetimes. I desire, therefore, that you will understand that the conspiracy of the fallen ones and the curse pronounced against the white man is a curse pronounced against the seed of Christ. It is a curse pronounced as the judgment of the fallen, one, fallen angels. 
and it is a judgment pronounced against the progenitors of the eternal Christ. How is this so? Beloved hearts of light, the fallen ones, by taking their revenge against the Inca, against the empire and the head thereof, did bring about their judgment through the Christ's light in the people of the Incas, did bring about their judgment by those evolutions who were overtaken by fallen ones. Thus a great crime was committed against a people who occupied the continent of South America. That crime had its judgment, and that judgment, the cursing of the white man, should be upon the seed of those who perpetuated the deed. But those who perpetuated the deed did so at inner levels. The tools of the false hierarchy who knew full well that the judgment that would be upon them would also come upon the seed of Christ, also embodied as the white man, as they had induced that seed of Christ to intermarry with themselves. I speak of the seed of Belial, embodied in the white race itself, that has moved against nation upon nation in the process of taking over the world. And I speak, therefore, of the intermingling among those of the white race with the seed of light and darkness. Thus, beloved hearts, when there is compromise by intermarriage of the seed of Christ with the seed of the wicked, both being of the white race, the seed of light also suffers. This curse pronounced is not only a judgment of the law but also a, cor a curse of black magic by the seed of the wicked transferring their culpability to the seed of Christ. And therefore that curse is come to pass because it has never been broken, never been checked. And the full force of the Godhead dwelling in any son of God on earth has not to this moment challenged it or overturned it it is to this end that I have come. For there is truly a superstition and a sense of revenge upon all of the descendants of the Spanish conquistadors by the descendants of those people who did suffer needlessly under the conquerors of the Spanish in South America. They were ruthless. They killed anything and everything. It was really a bad situation. Let it be understand, therefore, that this curse has indeed come upon the middle class of the white man in America and the earth through that very deed. And you can understand that history is tarnished. History is replete with acts and deeds that come first full circle and therefore take the lives of the seeming innocent when they are in their very bud and blossom. Realize, therefore, that the vulnerability of the people who succumb to cocaine in every race is also conditioned by prior neglect, prior agreement, prior consent in some form, great or small, of allegiance to their own carnal mind, allegiance to the dweller on the threshold, and allegiance to those fallen angels. Recognize then, beloved hearts, when you give your allegiance to your Holy Christ self and to the voice of conscience within you, and when you stand with Almighty God and still stand, and to the best of your knowledge and ability and awareness, do not compromise the love of your Christhood, the wisdom and the power of your Christhood. You are protected against the wiles of the devil and of these serpents, these fallen angels in embodiment. 
But when there is a giving away of the portion of the self, a little compromise here and there because it seems harmless. And that word harmless is among the most dangerous words in the lexicon of the English language. Then, beloved ones, you leave yourselves open to the inroads of karma and the subsequent depriving of yourselves of more of your consciousness because you have agreed and acceded to giving a portion of it away. The more you are enlightened by us and by the teachings of the Ascended Masters, the more you enter into your Christhood, the more you take accountability for your thoughts and feelings and for your deeds, the greater the stand you take for the light and the more light you therefore feel upon yourself the more you realize just how important it is to protect that light and your Christhood. Those who reach the peak of Everest and the challenging mountains of the world know the dangers of the last mile, the last five miles. Beloved hearts of light, those last few yards before your victory are among the most dangerous of all because they necessitate the securing of that which you have gained as well as the strength to attain the final crown of victory to sustain that which you have therefore becomes the challenge of keepers of the flame which is why we have written on our lessons hold fast what thou hast received. Now therefore, beloved hearts, I come and I ask your concerted and undivided heart fire attention, your concerted and undivided heart fire attention and God consciousness with me as I implore before the altars of Almighty God the breaking of this curse and all who have reinforced it. I ask you therefore to kneel before your Father. Almighty God, our Father, the one supreme God, Elohim. I, Saint Germain, stand in the earth and with those who are the mystical body of God. We come before thy altar and before thy throne in the name of thy beloved Son with us, Christos, we implore. I call also to all Christed ones and children of the Father worldwide whom I touch with the fire of my heart to give their attention now at inner levels to this universal and planetary prayer. Our Father, one in heart, one in the heart of the earth, we call forth light, light, light. Break the curse against the seed of light upon earth. Break the curse of cocaine, marijuana, heroin, PCP, and all other chemicals known on this planet and those yet to be introduced which already have already been introduced in past ages. Almighty God, Almighty Father, we summon now the legions of light and the entire spirit of the Great White Brotherhood as cosmic reinforcements in the heart of the earth. And I, St. Germain, declare that in my heart, as in thy heart, this curse is now fully, finally broken by the Godhead. And this breaking of the curse shall be implemented by these keepers of the flame daily in the call of judgment, in the binding of the curse, in the binding of the dweller in the threshold of that curse. I therefore, I say, Father, release the dispensation of light for the protection of the warriors of light and peace who march 
with the legions of seraphim and the angels and Elohim. Let there be raised up reinforcements on earth who will take their stand and bear that light, that blinding light of the shield of the Godhead and that mighty sword invincible of cosmic truth. Helios and Festa, representatives of the Father Mother God, I, Saint Germain, with Portia, now agree to hold in the earth with keepers of the flame the balance against the conspiracy out of the pit of death and hell. In the name of Almighty God and by His grace, fully ensconced in His flame, we stand in this hour to challenge the entire drug conspiracy of planet Earth, to challenge every soul beset thereby who is of the light, to leave it at once, depart from it, turn your back on it, and run for the sun. Run for the sun is our cry, and our cry to every light bearer on the earth. Now depart from the dark places and the hell holes and the astral pits. Remove yourselves from the fallen ones who are the purveyors of drugs and rock that go hand in hand and draw you down into the very darkness of hell. I, Saint Germain, stand before the altar of Almighty God. I speak from the altar of the Holy Grail. I speak into the very heart of the flame of the Ark of the Covenant, and I summon the Word of God in this hour to slay, therefore, the entire planetary momentum of the dragon that gives power to the beast of every form of drug conspiracy. And I call for the empowerment of my own in this hour that they may send the call, that they may call, that that call may count, beloved Father, as my own call. I ask that my heart and flame and being once again reinforce them and that when they give their calls on this subject and the subject of world communism and international communist, the capitalist communist conspiracy, it shall be done and it shall be turned back and they shall no more occupy the temples of the light bearers and all evolutions of earth shall be free and the angels who are the, reaper, the reapers shall come and bind these fallen angels bind the fallen ones in embodiment and take them for the hour of their final judgment and their sick their second death and therefore i saint germain plead before the father of the for the acceleration now of the shortening of the days for the elect once again and for the binding of the conspirators of darkness in every walk of life, aborting life at every age, in the womb, in our children and youth, and those decades when the souls of light ought to be pursuing the mighty I am presence, but engage themselves in pleasure seeking and entertainment and titillation of the senses. Beloved Father, hear our call. For we are one in heart. We are one in thy star fire magnitude in the earth. We are determined to present planet earth as a planet God victorious in the flame of freedom. And therefore, Father, I present to you this day, my beloved keepers of the flame worldwide, who are standing with me, and in celebration of my own ascension do take their stand this hour, by the cosmic flame of freedom and by the cosmic reinforcements to challenge evil to the very core and absolute evil by the power of the absolute Godhead with them whom they know, beloved Father, as the mighty I am presence. I call unto you, O Father, receive my own. Receive those who are forerunners of the age of Aquarius. I call forth grace and protection and enlightenment as well as God happiness and understanding 
and tutelage the, tu the tutelage of their hearts by Lord Maitreya in the path of the ruby cross. I call unto you, beloved Father, now give to us and these holy ones in embodiment that fire that is able to consume by the speak spoken word those who are the infamous, those who are the destroyers, those who are the seed of the murderer and the liar who come from beneath whose end shall surely come. Our Father, we beseech you in one heart that their end shall come now in this hour before it is too late, before too many of those Christed ones which we have invoked and blessed are come forth and their light stolen and their lives dest destroyed. Therefore, in honor and memory of one soul of life passed from the screen of life this very week, I say, let us remember all souls of light and all individuals, no matter what their level of evolution all who have passed from the screen of life at the hand of world communism and the international drug conspiracy and the capitalist communist conspiracy as well. Let them be remembered, our Father. Let the saints who are at inner levels be remembered. Let those who have had to re-embody scarred and burdened and who have again come under this conspiracy also be remembered. And let the legions of light penetrate deeper and deeper into the astral plane and rescue those souls this day. Our Father Alpha, our Mother Omega, we call. We are one in thy heart. Heaven and earth meet in this hour in this consummation of the world at the altar of the Holy Grail, there is the oneness of spirit and matter. And souls aflame with the victory of light enter a new consciousness of their own Christhood as they draw down from their causal bodies now that light that has never been seen on land or sea, that light in the lighthouse of being, that light which can descend the crystal cord and be the staying action of the world tide of darkness and which can consume utterly the dark cycle of returning karma in Aries. Beloved Father Supreme, I seal this prayer in the heart of the cosmic Christ and in the hearts of the faithful and true everywhere on earth. I seal this prayer. May it come forth. May it bud as the pink rose. May it bud and blossom in the cosmic Christ awareness. And let those who are on the verge of coming into proximity with our teachings, beloved Father, now also receive the gift of protection and the main and the ministration of legions of Archangel Michael and his flaming blue sword. Let them be drawn into their awareness that they may utter the word, even in this I am that I am, even in the service of the name of God and in the I am presence shall run to their side and protect them until they are securely anchored in this light. In the name I am, in the name of Almighty God, in the name of the God of freedom whose spirit I am and I represent in this era, I, Saint Germain, seal this prayer in the souls of the light bearers worldwide and in their Christ self. In thy name, Amen. And we say, Amen. Amen. O oh, beloved Saint Germain, hierarch of the new age, my hierarch and the hierarch of all of those keepers of the flame, we say thank you. And
and we shall we shall rise to the call in this hour of Alpha and Omega of St. Germain and Portia. Thank you.